large enough to obstruct that. I could do this and then scale that down. It'll make the entirety more expensive. Oi, 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 get back. Make the entirety more expensive, but it would look real swanky. Don't like the clipping there, though. Have to make it like that, but I like it. Ninety-nine percent of them. Warner Brothers has clearly forced Monolith to an online store to the Shadow of Mortar sequel, selling loot crates and boxes. I get that that's how they make their money, but not every game needs loot crates and boxes, for crying out loud. Here, see, see what I mean? This is what's annoying me right now. Those breaks are too frequent. Those interruptions. Now, you know what? This doesn't make sense. We just have to use this one as... Unsatisfying as it looks. This is where we leave that. And then we can put this here. Enlarge it by one. And uh, we're going to need power. Because this one's going to run out of power quite quickly. And let's simulate these in planner. There we go. That simulates these running. So that's interesting. So we want to make sure we have enough power to run the wheels non-stop, preferably. Um, please do the other alignment. See, this does not give us limitless energy. Oi. You're doing naughty things. That is not what I asked you to do. It's a six minutes. I, I, ideally, I want continuous operation out of this one. Perpetual. So this would give us what we need. Hmm. I wonder. These give us 0.3 per second. This one gives us 0.7 per second. What if I add these? Because if I extend these, I'll, I'd have to rotate them, but it would give us 13 full minutes. And if I supplant If I supplement, not supplant, these with something like this. There we go, that gets us perpetual energy. So that means we can uh, retract these here. Now let's move them a little bit so that they don't clip annoyingly. Let's see what this gives us. Extend. Retract. I like that. It's not the best design, but it's good. You're not even sure none of that's on Monolith's shoulders. Spend off that blizzard have gone back and added them to StarCraft and HOTS. Oh man, they're in HOTS now too. And StarCraft? When you're out Hey, sure thing, Joe. See you in a moment. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a route that um, Blizzard has been going down for quite a long while. Huh. I have no idea how this works. Um, but yeah. Um, ever since they started hiring, hiring psychologists to find out how they could pay, make people more addicted to World of Warcraft, they've been slipping into this. Ah, oh, portable struts. I love those things. Adding struts in space on an EVA. Best idea ever. 
Uh, we don't need any supplies for this little rover. You know, I could just add a light for fun. But yeah, no. Um, I'm just trying to check. Oh, wait, where was I? Well, there's anything that I'm forgetting here. I'm adding the illuminators, that's fine. Don't need ejection modules. Demolition charges, we... Did we put... A th we did not put a thermometer on this thing. Haha! -ha! Of course, he needs... There we go. Oi, that's... You're getting one too many there. Look at that shy little face of our little rover. Um, you've got to help me think of a nice name for this rover. What do we call this? Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Communitron, of course. Otherwise, we will lose focus. Ah, those little brakes. Maybe you give him a little mustache. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any good foldable antennas. This one should actually already be enough, but if our experience yesterday has taught us anything, then it's backups. Put backups on your stuff. could probably actually you know what let's let's make it look even cooler we're gonna put a third pair of wheels on it boom how much more rover like can you look you know we could just maybe put two of these things on there why for fun That's probably because they're completely optional. People don't buy anything, but still buy the game itself. That product tanks because of the boycotts. Then probably won't blame the store system, but the game itself. Yep. Yeah, and since the response of the average player is to tank it in reviews and Metacritic ratings, then the publisher is going to say, "Oh, your game didn't meet our Metacritic requirements." Mm, oh no 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 no! We are going to default on your stuff. Will you boycott them that will tank the entire industry with how prevalent the system is, yeah. It'll be interesting with all TF2 Counter-Strike, a system with Steam trading made for microeconomy. Yeah, I I like that uh, with Dota, uh, when you just got a couple of items you could trade them. That was fun. We don't need any RCS on you. You're, I think you're fine. Okay, we have a sky crane apparently. It seems. Oh! How awesome is that? Deployable engines. So I guess that's a cool system, but it seems a little overpowered. Okay, you know what? I think I may have to uninstall Ferrum Aerospace because I think that's what's causing all these breaks, even though I'm loving it right now. Um, okay, we're just, we're just going to go with abbreviations that make sense from now on. Let's save this baby and... Um, that staging is correct. Let's take it out for test drive. Damn capitalists, you're gonna try to, to a picture, uh, cry to a picture of Karl Marx. Join us, join us on the socialist side. Yeah, let's get these lights. I may want to angle these lights left to right. Now I think yeah, as expected, of course. 
Um, these babies are going to need their motor reversed because of the way I've set up my joystick. So, forward is forward, left is left, right is right, back is back, that is good. Let's not drive off of that thing. Um, yeah, let's drive off there. This is interesting though, these wheels keep on going. The other wheels you needed to continuously supply with energy. But this is interesting, that these keep on going. They also don't seem to slow down. That's curious. Let's see what happens if in the middle we retract... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we lost a wheel, apparently. But it can still go. That's interesting. So it looks like, so far, this thing does fine. Okay, I'm locking this. Break. Retract. Uh, revert. Well, hello there, Venon. Didn't see you there. How are you doing? Oh, you think there's a uh, major bubble waiting to happen? What are you expecting to happen in the uh, games industry? Is there any major change that uh, we can expect? Okay, let's... There we go. Add that third wheel. Third pair of wheels, I should say. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. Reverse the motor directions for all of them. I think we're good. We might want to rotate these outward a little bit to give it a derpy face. You know what? Let's let's go let's go one wider. Oh, that's two wider, but there. Actually, why am I doing the focused ones? This is strange. I'm suddenly realizing we need a wide view. This one's wide, this one's aimed. So, we're going to give this thing, there we go, get that smaller, we're going to give this thing a wide lens, um, there we go, lights, okay, then this is the thing that we're going to be landing on Minmus, so we will retract all of these, This is our payload to Minmus. AAA title cost, uh, requires so many people for such a long time. At this point, it costs too much money to make a money-earning game. Huh. Last major bubble event left the PC market more or less uh, completely unaffected. I don't know, though. I mean, uh, maybe I'm, I'm thinking, of course, if there's a, a huge hit then of course it pays off, but how many games end up being huge hits? Hmm. Tricky. I don't know enough about the um, games industry to actually have a properly informed opinion about this. There we go. This is going to be one of those weird payloads, little little fat boy payloads. But that's all right. The rover to Minimus. Now, we want that to decouple. This is actually perfect. Now, I've mentioned before how I enjoy different um, fairing deployment. And now we're going to see one of these. I want this to be a clamshell deploy with slower than before so that it doesn't shoot off into space. But in fact, that there are six different things that slowly unfold. I like that view. 
Um, now, on the side, I'm gonna... Oh, darn it. Give me a second. I'm all tabbing here to get my bookmarks. Because if you remember what I mentioned yesterday, I normally always used Firefox. But for some reason, Firefox has been slurping up a lot of memory. And first I thought that my problem in Kerbal might have been Firefox slurping memory. But I think it's one of the mods. We want this baby. Uh, we already can land on Minmus, that's fine. We want this stage to go from low orbit Kerbin to intercept. There we go, Minmus. Low orbit to intercept Minmus takes a thousand twenty delta V. Say rather than a major bubble event, you'll see a lot of smaller changes. Oh, I agree, Vanen. If the independent um, games industry picks up, ah, oh, glorious. The games I've enjoyed most have been independent games. Oh my god, look at the Delta V on this baby. We can lower this massively. This should already be enough. Why do we have so little fuel, though, if I look... Really? Has this... Has the this dropped so much? Did we not just have a thousand? Oh, okay. This has dropped... This has weighed way more than I believed. Okay, uh, low orbit to surface of Minmus takes 200 milliseconds. Uh, meters per second. We have 665. We're fine. Low orbit from Kerbit, low orbit from Minmus takes 1200. So let's build for that. Uh, you know what? Let's not get a needless... Needless waste number in there. We can just separate with that one. So, 1200. This is 1470. This should be enough to get us to encounter Minmus. So, let's see. This is a stage that is in orbit. Now we need something from surface to low orbit, which, as you know, is 4080. I just want to see how good our engines are. This gives me 1800, so I would need to build out to uh, make this really useful. So I'm thinking that we just start off right away with adding a wider fuel tank and a strong engine. That nearly gets us where we need to be. I wonder, though, if... What if we use a different engine? See, this gets us much more Delta V. Oh, 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 oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Almost made that mistake. There we go. We don't have to thrust to wait. There we go. Because we need this, um, the lower stage, we need that to lift off from Kerbin. So we need to know... Let's see, everything... This is the intercept, this is landing. So stage 4 must contain 4080 Delta V. Let's see what they're saying here. Look at Hollywood, this point a lot, not on people at the top or people who I don't know how or know when to let movie makers do their thing. Hmm. Oh yeah, Vinan, I think I think your point is actually uh, real solid. Because a lot of games get stuffed with useless content. I'm I'm looking at you, open world games. You know, the fetch quests, the, um... Oh, you can do so much! No, actually, I can do the collect bare asses everywhere, constantly. But going to mid-sized games or even smaller games, that would be a massive change. <laughs> I 
I, I like your depiction of uh, somebody in the industry who they're... <laughs> yeah, make one of them Call of Duties. They, they made big dollars. Yeah, give me one of those. Them sounds good. Let's see. 2.39. That is more thrust weight than we need, actually. So let's see. Instead of this engine, can we get a more efficient one at surface level? So what I'm looking at is the ISP. This one's 280 uh, ASL, this one's 90 ASL. So this one's worse at surface level. Uh, this seems to be 275. This seems to be actually the most efficient engine we have at surface level. So let's just strap on a bunch of boosters to the side. So all we need is S4, is this number, the delta V, to be 4080. So always, as a rule, add as little as possible to reach a goal. Mm, 395. Did we already get... Ah, oh, we didn't get the fuel line upgrade. Next thing we need to get... See, we could get the enormous boosters, but that would get us far more than we need. Let's see if we can we can add a minimal amount and still reach our goal. At this point, let's, let's see. The Reliance are more efficient at surface level. 4,020. We're almost there. So we'll add um, a little bit to the top. 4,127. This should be able to get us into space. Oh, open world survival. Yep, that is... That is just every game nowadays. Some of them, admittedly, look nice. But certainly not all of them. People see 100-hour game as being better than 10-hour game. I, I'd prefer a 10-hour game over a 100-hour game, to be fair. I mean, some games defy that model for me. Like, I've spent way more time in this game. I've spent hundreds of hours in Kerbal. I've spent way more time in Dota, so yes, absolutely. Long games can be a lot of fun. But nowadays, if I think about playing a new game, starting something really new from the start, if I see a game that says, oh, you have 150 hours of content, I think, oh god, what am I going to find the time for 150 hours? But if I see a game, this is a nice five-hour episodic experience, I think, yes, okay, let's do it. Okay, this should be the Kerbal Engineer that we need the entire time, so we don't need that. Netflix is 20 billion in debt? Vade and I did not know that. Netflix is not in trouble. They have a lot of subscribers, but the whole model is based on credit. Huh. I did not know that. That is that is very interesting. Let's just get some energy on here. Oh, RCS. Do you remember? That was the thing that that really gave us trouble last time. We lacked RCS. This time, we're going to place RCS on this baby. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to place it one single set of RCS right on the center of mass, except I should move them because I'm going to be adding RCS. Um, these tanks are a little bit big. Don't we need that much RCS? Hmm. Probably don't even need this much battery power. Let's see how we're going to do this. 
it doesn't actually matter whether or not these ports are free, but I, I just like visually keeping them free. Okay, this gives us a pile of RCS. I just need to make sure that these babies are there. And let's see what happens if this tank is empty. The center of weight moves up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving these upwards. I want them to be roughly half of where they are between full and empty. That way we have the most consistent experience. About there, I think. Oh, thank you for that link, Venom. But Netflix and 20, uh, 20 billion in debt from the LA Times. Cool, that's that's very interesting. Need to AFK? Oh, sure thing, Luther. So we have our RCS. Let's check. There we go. That, that puts us below. But I think we could probably scale the RCS down. <sighs> Although we'll scale it down by 50%, so it's half as big. But look at the monopropellant. That's like a, a ninth of it. Mm. Darn. So scaling this down would also not get us into space yet. Simple solution. Expand the fuel. That does not get us to where we need to be. Adding the RCS costs us a whole lot. Do I have to turn on the light? Uh, actually... Wow. I see what you mean. It's not a question of turning off a light. The sun is super bright right there. Give me a second. I'll see if I can blind that out a little bit. There we go. The problem with this case was in fact too much light. I had the lamp on as well. So what we have right now is just this line that, you know what, let me turn off the, the um, um, there we go, the chroma key so you can see. Chroma key off. Let's go to the lobby to show you. This is what I'm dealing with right now. So this is just a normal green screen. It's very sort of sheer, but it the color gets picked up well enough. But the problem is that it's, it's, it's sheer, so it lets through some more light. That's why it's a little bit vague. As you can see, this here, let me see if I can adequately... This here is just a single light from a window that is up there. And because this now... Um, oh god, that's difficult to do in a weird, mirrored motion. Because this is just uh, so darn light. The color difference right now, this is my chroma key color. This is just too light and that's where the problem comes from so sadly sadly this is what we have oh my god did it ruin the entire chroma key what why does the chroma key not work anymore the, the chroma key is gone and the camera's being weird. I should never have done this. I should never have done this. What have I done? So there's two things happening. One is the camera is trying to adjust the color. Um, oh, it's adjusting the white balance now. Let's try and make the, up the color intensity. That makes me real red. Up the color intensity a little bit. Up the brightness. See if you can change the color around a little bit. This is super fascinating viewing stuff, isn't it? Oh god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What is going on? Aha! I'm getting a color. 